guys, we are back with another video. Before we get started, go down there, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and like this video. Today, this is a very special day for Jacoby because he hasn't been here in a while. I guess he's just not liking us lately. I think it's just like any other day. I mean, I wouldn't say it's a very special day. But we also have another But, day. hey, it's fixing to be a pretty special day for Jacoby. Yeah. Because his birthday's in what? A couple days. Four or five days? Yeah, five. How old are you going to be? About 20? 19? Yeah. Eight. Good eight grief. The one. Start hey, what about this guy? He, I don't That's think he's been eating as well as Jacoby, man. He's gonna have to put on some muscle. You know what this guy likes to do for fun, Jacoby? Um, he likes to ride bulls. And Bronx. Yeah, you believe that? So what are we doing? We're gonna do a micro fishing challenge. No. Well, no, you don't have micro poles. We're we gonna do a so, catch, clean, and cook at the creek. No, no we're not doing that. Well, so we're gonna be fishing, go down a ways that y'all probably never seen before. But if we catch a bass, that's gonna be our goal. Even if it's one this big or it's one this big. So our competition, see who can catch the biggest fish of the day, right? Sure, yes. Okay. Most. The oh. most and the biggest. Most and the biggest. You have to keep track of your own number because I can promise you I won't be able to keep up with it. Okay. Okay. We're all well, fishing. Shouldn't do the the most because we don't. I mean the biggest because we don't have like a scale. Well, tell. we can get close. I bet you. Okay. We'll all look at them. So everybody's just fishing with a jig, pretty much even Stevens here. So more or less, what Houston's trying to say is it's just a Sunday afternoon and we're just hanging out at the creek, man. Summer is uh, is winding down quickly, and it's getting uh. The water temperatures in the creek are getting pretty cool. Um, this week we're actually expecting our first little cool front of the year. So today it's like 90 degrees, tomorrow it's supposed to be like 95 degrees. But then I think uh, in a couple days from now the high is like 75. And then we got about a week of highs barely make it into the 80s. So uh, fall is quickly approaching and our uh, creek time our creek adventures our creek live videos are going to come to a close for the year pretty soon huh jacoby so houston's got a couple buddies here we're going to do a little fishing i think we're going to explore down the creek some today you guys rarely ever see us go that direction except during the spring when the uh the sand bass or the white bass run you see us like half a mile to a mile down the creek um we're gonna hit the the, uh, the big fishing hole right here, our swimming hole first though, before we go on down and uh, see what the boys can catch here. Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by CrowdCow. CrowdCow is a marketplace for high quality meats that creates a meaningful connection between the farmer and the customer so people can know and appreciate exactly where their food comes from and get higher quality meat and seafood that tastes better and is better for them and their family. And for a limited time, CrowdCow is offering $100 in free meat plus free shipping to you guys if you use my link in the, in the uh, description box. So here's how CrowdCow works. You just go online to their website, you build your box, explore, shop, see what all they have for high quality beef, pork, chicken, seafood, and so many other things. And add it all to your box, you get it on your schedule, they'll ship it to your door, shows up um, on your schedule, you tell them when you want it shipped out, it's all gonna come individually sealed in vacuum um, vacuum sealed packs so it's all frozen when it shows up to your door and you can also join the herd which means you can become a member and get perks like five percent off and free shipping on orders over 99 dollars so as i said earlier one thing about crowd guys you're going to get better quality food it's, it's it's a way of supporting small farms so when you go to the grocery store you have no idea where that food comes from with crowd cow you can go online to their website and each individual cut, everything you look at, you can click, go to that specific farm or that place where it was harvested and learn about them. And uh, that means a lot to me because I am a small farmer and this is one way that, that I and, and you all can help support other small farms. So as I said earlier, uh, new members can get up to $100 in free meat plus free shipping if you use my link or go to crowdcow.com slash arms family. You'll find a link in the description box uh, go check it out. I would really appreciate it. Whenever you're done making noise. I'm done. I've always kind of shied away from buying chicken in like a subscription box because to me, like, chicken's the cheap meat at the grocery store. But 
crowd cow sells tons of different options when it comes to chicken so i thought well this week or this month i wasn't done now i'm done this month i wanted to try some of their chicken breasts and uh this whole kit it you know on their website they sell different different kits you can get whole boxes of certain styles and this was the uh keto kit not that we're on a keto diet by any means mm, no no but you do like your bacon i i do and I, that's keto friendly i actually had two uh slices of bacon that we had left over that i cooked for this to put in the potatoes and i was waiting on him so might have ate them so we're having like a cajun chicken breast that she just wanted she said can we do it like blackened so cajun chicken breast with some leftover potatoes that were uh, baked potatoes that we kind of converted into cheesy mashed potatoes. It's a little spicy. It's good. You like it? Mm -hmm. You approve? I approve. I love it when she approves. Mm -hmm. Where'd he go get wet? I don't know, I've been in here slaving away cooking you lunch. Kobe's gonna get a jump start on everybody. Oh, I missed it! Caston fell down on the slab. Man, I missed it by like half a second. What happened, dude? It's a little It's a little slick over there, isn't it? Hey, I'll tell you like I told you, Kobe. Ease up to this swimming hole right here. There's a bunch of fish in it, but if you walk all the way out there too far, they'll see you and they won't bite. So you gotta fish it from a distance first, okay? Houston about got a hook in the head. I got one too. I was fixed to say there's fish number one, but there's fish number one and two. Same time, Kobe, man, don't let them out fish you. You were the one I'd have picked to win. Come on now. Caston's got a little green sunfish. Yeah. And Houston's got one just about the same size. A lot prettier. Oh, a, a lot prettier. You think that was a lot prettier than his? Yeah. Let him go. Earl, what are you doing? See a dead fish right there. Can you see it? I guess is it's something that an otter came and ate. See the head right there? I bet that's that's a catfish head. I bet you. But hey, I still see a ton of little bluegill and green sunfish and stuff in here. Kobe got one. Kobe got a big bluegill. Looks like. Where'd he go? Kobe's trying that quick release method. He didn't even have to get the hook out of his mouth. Well, Kobe's is the biggest so far, no doubt. Hold him up here. There. So we told you a while back that we were uh, pretty sure the otters had made it back here. I haven't seen any fresh sign. I don't have the game camera over here anymore. I took it to put it um, up for deer season. But uh, I'm not seeing any fresh sign where they like to hang out and uh, do their business. But check out the creek behind the dam. Is that not the nastiest looking, grossest creek water you ever seen? The uh, the rope swing you always see the boys swing on is right there. You literally can barely see the water. So there's a couple different things going on here and I think a lot of it obviously is just because it's fall is approaching so leaves are starting to fall. But uh, we're in the middle of a drought. What are you doing up in the tree? I did it! <laughs> we're in the middle of a drought. We haven't had much rain at all in probably two months. And uh, that's just kind of the 
nasty effects of not having any rain in the creek. It's so uh, what happens is if we can get an inch or two of rain, the creek gets up and it continuously washes that moss and algae and stuff out. But we just haven't had any rain. So where's your fishing pole? Why is it hanging in a tree? It got stuck up there. When I was trying to lean back and Look at there. You called me over here and didn't even need my help. So, uh, obviously we're not going to do much fishing right up there. That's why we talked about going downstream today. So, as soon as they get through fishing this little hole of water, we're going to walk downstream a ways. Oh, no. Don't do that just yet. <laughs> just yet, huh? You don't want him to fall and get hurt right now? Not yet. Not yet. Maybe later. Let's go, Kobe! You gonna make it, Kobe? Maybe. Maybe. Gaston doesn't understand slow down. I didn't have the camera out. He said, I got one, I got one, I got one. He reeled it as fast as he could. Snatched him up. Out there towards that dead tree where that dark water is where I told him to. You about fell down, Kobe. Didn't you? Look, look at Earl shaking. He's shivering. The water's getting cooler. Uh oh. Caston's putting a whooping on you, boys. What's that for you? Number three? Yeah, number three. He's almost so small you could see through him, but still a fish, huh? Mm -hmm. Yep. Bella! 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 Oh, there's a deer. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh, there it goes. A little fawn. Dude, struggle bussing, aren't you? Yeah. Fish it from there. Don't go any farther first. Remember what I said. Stay back. Fish it from a distance or you'll spook the fish before you get there. What's that number four for casting? Yeah, I got a stick bass. Jacoby got him a tree pounder. That's a big tree. All right, you two. Casting's putting a whooping on you now. What's the deal? You two are supposed to be my two creek fishing experts. Not anymore, Not anymore Kobe says. <laughs> Three boys, one, two, three, four dogs. I mean, I can't think of a better way to spend a, a Sunday evening. It's going to be long and it's going to be too cold to be doing this kind of stuff. Yeah, this is a pretty deep hole. If there's a bass anywhere, he'd be hiding out in this deep hole right here, I bet. If y'all are done fishing, we'll go back up to the swimming hole. Yeah, it's not good. near as uh, nasty in our it's swimming hole cave. right now. Hmm? There ain't no telling what all Gemma finds up in this nasty stuff. Hey, I'm gonna get in real quick. There's a cave. The farther down the creek we've gone, the uh, slower moving the water is, the closer to the lake you get. Obviously the slower the water moves, 
which means you have this build up a lot more build up of uh, moss and just muck and nastiness in the water I mean after after you step it literally just looks like chocolate milk so uh, we're gonna go back up towards the swimming hole I may see if they want to go above the dam it's pretty nasty for a little ways but if we go up around the next curve that's where Houston caught uh, that whatever it was two pound bass a couple weeks ago so i know for sure there's at least a few fish up there i really thought coming down the creek would be the ticket um i've been kind of looking as we went trying to see if i could find any otter sign i haven't seen anything that suggests there's otters down here but i mean we know they came through they may have cleaned this portion of the creek out and uh, just not made it all the way up as far as killing all the fish eating all the fish up uh, as far as where our uh swimming hole is and stuff ah, bugs keep going in my mouth ah. so we're gonna work our way back up the creek and uh see what we can find up there hey kobe yeah. so i told everybody a while back that y'all got a new house in town yeah. and uh you got a new dog yeah. how's things going man everybody's been asking yeah. about you they said we don't ever see jacoby anymore where's he been i said well him and houston are in different buildings now so they're not in the same classes they don't see each other on the playground but uh, you've been doing cross country with Houston. You just don't seem like a cross country kind of guy. What made you want to do cross country this year? Uh, I don't know. Don't know? My mom just made me because I said that uh, flag football was for sissies. Oh. <laughs> so she said you're going to do something, so go run cross country, huh? Because I want to play tackle football this year, but she won't let me. Well, maybe in a couple years you can play tackle football. I think that starts in fourth grade, doesn't it? Uh, they're doing it for... The Crusaders for little kids. Yeah. Cool. Well, Houston's not real big into football right now. But Kobe's been doing good. Got a new house. Got a new dog. What? Trying to zoom. I totally missed it. What? I said I totally missed it. Golly, it's almost like Halloween decorations out here on the creek or something. I don't think I'll walk right through that. Come on, Gemma. Come on. Come on. Let's go, Gemma. Come on. You got this. You know, sometimes I feel like I say the same things over and over on this channel, and uh, it's just because it's just the facts of life, I guess, but there's nothing that, <laughs> that really makes me more happy in this world than spending time with my kids and other kids down here on the creek. I mean, it's it kind of it's kind of a bummer that uh, seasons are changing and summer's coming to a close because this might actually be our last big creek adventure of the summer. And, uh, I mean, we can come down here a few more times. Me and Houston can fiddle around and do some stuff. If we come down here in the wintertime, it's just not the same when you're not out in the creek, out playing with your feet in the water and the moss and the sand and, the, you know, a few leeches here and there. But 
I mean, it just doesn't get any better than three little boys, or four if you include me in that, hanging out, just spending time, doing what we're supposed to do down here at the creek. And you know, we just live in such a crazy mess of a world. And uh, I, you know, people always ask what, what they want to know the secrets to my channel or my page or whatever. What do you do to how do you how do I grow my page the way yours has grown? And uh, I, there's no shortcut. There's no secret. You just have to put in the work and upload video after video after video after video. But I think what makes our channel, our page work, is just this. The simple life. People, people want to escape the hustle and bustle and the crazy world they live in. You know, we all have so many things going on. And we're all so busy that we forget to take time out and uh, just relax and have fun and spend time with kids and you know we came down here today this was supposed to be a, a competition you know that was probably my fault more than theirs they just wanted to come to the creek and hang out and I said well let's go they wanted to fish I said well what are we gonna do we're we gonna do we need to make it a challenge do we need to make it a competition do we need to see who can catch the biggest the most whatever that was all on me that was them they those three boys right there could care less about the competitive side of it that was just me trying to make a video and uh there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, they still had fun. They had a great time. What? Um, somehow, my line came out of this. I'll fix it. <laughs> yeah, you got a knot in your line. I'm about to put the camera down for a minute. Okay. I'm not sure how you did that. Are you? Huh? How do you do that? I was kind of just playing around, and somehow I came out of that loop. The truth comes out. You're just playing. Yeah, and somehow it came out of that hole. Anyway, so as I was saying, I, I don't have the, the tips and tricks on how to grow a big channel. We're just out here just doing what we do. I literally shot this whole video on an iPhone and an, an, iPro, uh, uh, yeah, iPro, an iPhone and a GoPro that's a couple generations old you know most of this was just shot on an iphone today and uh it's not about all the fancy equipment it's not about all the best editing and all the best of everything it's just storytelling making it interesting having fun spending time with people that mean the most to you and uh i think people just really resonate with that on our channel what put them in the bucket Hey, I found a tomato. Why would there be a little tomato laying on the ground down here? Oh, from the oh that was your tomato that you didn't eat. Yeah. All right, I'm here now. What'd you catch? A bunch. Oh, he caught a bunch of Yeah, those are too big to feed your bass. Oh, you're going to have to get him out from the inside. He's not going to fit through the net. He's just stuck. So I know that not all of you are content creators. Not all of you are out here making YouTube and Facebook videos and all that stuff. But I just want to challenge you this week. Kind of like my wife did a couple weeks ago on her song of the week. Um, to call your friends and check on them. Call your family and check on them. Just check in with people. But I just challenge you this week. Find a day and slow down. Chill out don't just have fun with family go find some some friends or some family and just go do something that's not the hustle and bustle of your normal world because i know i'm guilty of being so busy and having so many things going on that i don't slow down and take time you know i, mean, I try to spend a lot of time with my kids and different things but we all get busy we all have this crazy hectic world that we live in i just challenge you find a day slow down and the bible even tells us on the seventh day you're supposed to rest you know god created the world in seven days well six days but on the seventh day he rested and uh that does a lot i know we don't not everyone's got a not everyone's got a creek or a lake or something but just find something that you enjoy and take some friends and family and go do it go bowling i don't know why bowling that just popped into my head go do something go fishing get outside go to a park i know some people live in the city and they're not able to get out Go find a park. Go do something. Have a cookout. Invite a bunch of friends and family over. Have a cookout. You'll be amazed. It's great. Just relax. Pick a day this week. 
and just chill out. Yeah, Kobe, I don't know if they'll eat that dead one. You can try. Just let it go. See what they do. Yeah, that bass isn't going to eat that dead minnow. He's going to go over to the... Uh... He's try to find the... We'll feed the dead one to the turtles. Yeah. Pour some water out and you won't have a hard time catching them. Yeah, he's all dirty. Yep. Where is that? Ah, oh, you dropped him. You dropped your minnow. Here's a bass right here. They're gonna uh, do it head first. Yeah, they eat the fish head first, Kesson. Head first? Got him. Oh, he missed. He missed that bluegill. Just toss them out there in front. If they're gonna eat, they're gonna eat. Oh. oh. Dump, just dump them in and see what happens. I got a decent. Well, there you have it. Uh, so I guess technically, if we were still counting, Caston won the fishing contest for the most fish, and Jacoby won for the biggest. No bass were caught. But uh, we had a great time hanging out the creek, just doing what we do. And uh, I'm glad you guys stuck around. If you're watching this to the end, we really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for, uh, for helping us out and following us along on this journey. We absolutely love it. We have a great time. And uh, we sure appreciate you guys for tagging along and watching. And uh, anyways, yeah, Houston's fish pond is still doing good. Turtles are doing good. Everybody's happy and healthy. Got to figure out pretty soon what we're going to do with these fish for the winter time. Anyways, that's all I've got for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a great day. And as always, we'll see you on the next video.